Well, time for another episode with uh, Mr. Camacho. Story time with Mr. Camacho, that is. Uh, hope you guys had a good weekend. Uh, today's uh, topic uh, will be uh, another uh, 19th century reformer in Elizabeth Cady Stanton. Um, before we go any further, I want to let uh, uh, AJ and uh, Aiden know that this just because this is a video doesn't mean that you get to put your head down. It is uh, time to maintain a good learning posture, so make sure that you're sitting upright and, and uh, paying attention to the video. Uh, try to absorb as much as you can. Um, I was often curious over the weekend what kind of random thoughts DJ had going on, uh, things of that nature, and I'm sure uh, since it's a Monday, I'm sure Brzeda and Chesney have plenty of tea uh, to share with everybody else, so you may want to look them up on social media or something. Uh, anyway, getting on with our, our person for today uh, is Elizabeth Cady Stanton, and uh, uh, as I told you guys earlier in class, uh, I was fortunate enough during the Labor Day weekend back in September uh, to make a stop by Seneca Falls, New York, and this is where Elizabeth Cady Stanton becomes very famous in her movement for women to get equal rights, and that's uh, this movement gets started in 1848, and uh, she holds a, a convention at Seneca Falls uh, where she produces a, a, a document known as the Declaration of Sentiments, and it's basically just a list of grievances that all women have uh, in regards to uh, being treated unequally, and uh, some of it deals with land ownership, some of it deals with voting rights, uh, but basically they want to they want a seat at the table. And uh, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, along with some other women like Lucretia Mott and Susan B. Anthony and and others, um, um, have this big convention. Uh, the, the, it was really cool to be there uh, at, in that museum. Uh, back at Labor Day, but essentially uh, their work here in 1848 lays the groundwork for women eventually uh, getting more credibility. Um, so in the Declaration of Sentiments, the biggest phrase there is that uh, she emphasized, she takes it from the Declaration of Independence that all men and women uh, should be considered equal. And that that's the big phrase that everybody kind of remembers from, from that particular document. Um, Unfortunately, uh, slavery would be issue number one. It would and, and women's rights would be pushed to the back burner. As uh, just twelve years after the Seneca Falls Convention, we go to war and uh, civil war, and the number one topic is slavery. It would not be until 1920 before women earned the right to vote uh, with the 19th Amendment. So that would take quite a few more years. It's 72 years after Seneca Falls Convention. So a lot of these pioneer women uh, in the 19th century reformers uh, never really got to fully um, feel the freedoms that they were fighting for. See you guys again next time.